tutti. Okay, <laughs> so cheesy. I am back in Italy, which is why I'm trying to speak Italian. Anyway, I am back in Italy. It's New Year's. I don't know what day it is. Is it second or third? I don't know why it is. Third. It's 3rd of January today and I came back on the 30th late at night. On the 31st New Year's Eve we went out, we first went to this restaurant and had some really nice food. And then we went under Colosseo to basically see it and we figured out people would be there, fireworks would be there and we were not disappointed. It was so many people, really crazy. <laughs> Well, it was fun. It was a fun night. There are restrictions again in Italy. Now you have to wear masks at all times. And I think they also closed the um, clubs again for dancing. We didn't go to any of the illegal ones. They're illegal ones. We didn't go there. We just went to the bar legally. But that's why it was more of a chill night. Um, but it was still fun. I got back home at 5 a.m. I have one exam left. One exam left and then I'm done and I have to come back to Poland. Oh, and actually to Denmark. But I got so sentimental when I came back to Rome. It's crazy. Everything aligned perfectly. And the thing with Rome is that stuff usually don't align perfectly. So when it does, it feels like city is on your side and loves you. Although we were late, I still made it to the bus and then I got to the metro. I got emotional. I wasn't like full on sobbing there, but I had like glass eyes. So metro in Rome has this very characteristic seating line a has orange seats and orange exterior and then line b has a blue exterior and now is orange exterior so i saw those seats and i was sitting in the metro and it got flashed back to back to august when i first got here and i was like holy fuck how has it been four months four months how like and it's so crazy it feels like i just got here yesterday but on the other hand like i've been here forever just because i'm so used to my room at this point and you know my grocery store and stuff like that it's feels so crazy i'm gonna have to leave in two weeks a little bit of, yeah two weeks now yeah it is two weeks now i'm leaving holy crap super random intro but that's where i am right now in those really weird days where i'm like okay i just got here and new year's eve was just here but i also have exam super random vlog but we are in the museum <laughs> And it's so fucking empty, there's no one here, literally all the rooms are empty like this, that's why I can talk to you. Uh, and I think it's because it's Sunday and it's evening and we're one of the smaller museums. And basically we're arguing with the woman at the ticket office for like half an hour to get the right tickets. Because we knew we have a right to like a special card because we are students and she was sort of not having it. Uh, she was like, you have to be a resident in Rome and we were like, yeah, we are, we have contracts, we live here. Anyway, at the point, that's part of Italy, we were arguing over tickets for half an hour. Hey! Hey! You're gonna be famous now. <laughs> I'm just talking how no one else is here. This is so nice. Such a cultured people. <laughs> about this place is that because it's a museum of Rome they have paintings from Rome so for example up here this up here is Piazza del Popolo and you when you look at the painting you can see the stuff as they are today so in the middle you have that sculpture is still there and then those two buildings over there they're still there and this is Porta di Popolo that's you have to pass through them to get to the metro from Piazza del Popolo so it's so cool and then the down one is Piazza Quirinale and that building it's still there and that monument is also over there so i think it's so nice in that museum when you walk around you're like okay i've been this place i recognize this and that and that and uh, it's so empty because it's not so popular 
and I think it's also nice to see those museums. Fun fact for my fellow Polish people, this painting over here, it's at Piazza Navona and it's to celebrate the Polish Prince Alexander Charles of Poland and he didn't show up to the carnival for some reason, but he still had fun according to the painting. So cool. Also, there was before a sculpture of two Polish guys. We are in the Vatican Museum today. I don't know why we go to museums every day now, but apparently that's what we do. And uh, it's super more strict there, way more people, but still really, really fine because it's January. And I'm gonna put my mask on because the guards are <laughs> sort of walking around checking if you wear them. But I'm outside, okay, I'm outside. But I'm just waiting for Anna, my friend, to get ready. Hi, Anna. We're gonna go inside. I want to see the Sistine Chapel so much, but you cannot take any pictures there, nothing. But I think that's definitely <laughs> something that you have to see when you're in Rome, Sistine Chapel. Okay, the setting has changed quite a little, but we went grocery shopping. I just want to show you sort of what I got. One of the last few days thing. So I got some of this burrata type of thing, but it's called Puglia's Explosion. Okay, and then I got the tomatoes. I love those tomatoes so much and you cannot just get them everywhere in Denmark or Poland. They're called, I think, buffalo heart tomatoes. So nice. And then I got some basil. So I'm gonna do some fast caprese because I'm serving <laughs> and then I'm gonna cook uh, proper dinner later on. But I also got this, this uh, sugo tartufo and I like these things so much. I didn't try this particular brand, but I like this stuff so much because it's uh, black truffle with uh, cheese. So it's like a very nice bread. for the past few days um, I was mainly studying and going to dinners I had exam yesterday and I think it went fine fingers crossed the last one the last actual like proper exam I'll ever have in my life just my master physics defense but it's the same today we are going to Pantheon and St. Peter's Church those are the two things still on my list that I haven't seen so we're gonna do that and then I have tomorrow and then I'm leaving the day after tomorrow which I'll talk maybe later on because I have to go now and if I start talking about leaving Rome I will start crying so we're gonna do it later I just put fresh makeup on so we're not gonna ruin it okay um but that's what's happening today and that's what we're doing and by the way the weather in January is so much nicer than the weather in December was every single day it's sunny just like that so really, really. And by the way this is the Italian you know parking people just stuff in the middle or park in a
Marie, Marie. No. I didn't hit the record yet. <laughs> okay. Do it again. This is the last time I'm talking to you from my room in Rome. I'm about to move out. It feels so crazy. Yesterday, me and Vivi went for this really nice walk uh, in the city center. Um, we went to the places where I still haven't seen yet, and it was a really, really nice time. And today we went to see the Pope <laughs> to see because we live next to Vatican like 10-15 minutes walk I never actually went to see it the entire time I was here and today I did and um, it was very up there I could see him I could see his clothes but his face was in the dark so it could be someone else but then they had telebeam and it was him so i guess it was him um <laughs> and now i am moving out uh, everything is packed in my room so this is it i'm about to go and oh my god my skin is so wretched today anyway only vivi is staying the last woman standing hey 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 hi <laughs> don't leave me <laughs> you have an apartment all to yourself now though <laughs> <That's true. laughs> oh my god it's so weird the last time in this kitchen where I filmed so many fun cooking videos, huh? Mm -hmm. So weird, so weird. I don't know how I'm feeling about leaving, to be honest. It doesn't really get to me that I'm leaving. It just feels like I cleaned up my room and I'm going home for a while, like I went home for Christmas or some time. It just feels the same that I'm gonna do now, but I don't, I will never be in this room again. That's it, finito. Super weird, super weird. It doesn't really get to me. Yet.